this is the judgment in the petition number 13 and 14, consolidated of 2022. Uh, the main um, issue in this petition is um, on the nominations that have been, uh, uh, had been done for the appointments of the county executive officer, county executive committee members of the, of the second respondent of the Nakuru County. And the gist of the petition as filed by the petitioners, the two petitioners consolidated, is that the list as submitted or as nominated is skewed uh, against certain other persons of the county in that uh, it contains um, names of um, members of basically one ethnic community which is skewed against others. The complaint is that it has uh, members of seven members from one ethnic community, the Kikuyu, two from the Kalenjin, and one from the Kik from the Kluo, uh, which is against the 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 real map of Kik of, of Nakuru County. So I considered what was settled, was set, what was set out in the petitions, and I was able to to set out three issues that I'm going to determine in this judgment. Number one whether this court has jurisdiction to handle this matter. Number two, whether the petitioners have local standard to file this petition. Number three, and whether the petitions are, petitioners are entitled to the remedies sought. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a call, so you bear with my, my voice. Let me decide, they, they determine the issue of jurisdiction. Indeed, as held in the owners of Motor Vieso Lillian S versus Caltex Oil Kenya Limited, jurisdiction is everything. And without jurisdiction, this court has no business proceeding further in the matter. The matter of jurisdiction as raised by the respondents is that the matter is currently before the County Assembly of Nakuru and this court, um, in the spirit of separation of power, should not proceed any further. The respondents have also submitted that the petitioners have approached the court prematurely and have not exhausted all administrative and legal avenues provided in law before approaching this court. On this issue of jurisdiction, Article 162 of the Constitution provides the jurisdiction of this court. And in an attempt to actualize the provisions of Article 162.2 of the Constitution, Parliament enacted the Employment and Labor Relations Court, which at Section 12 sets out the jurisdiction of this court, and which I have also quoted in this judgment. In regard to whether this court can deal with this matter as an Employment and Labor Relations Court, uh, the, matter, the, the matter, the preamble of the ELRC Act states very clearly that this court is supposed to deal with Employment and Labor Relations matter, and um, matters connected thereto. So this court not only deals with employment and labor relations matters, but also deals with matters connected uh, to that uh, employment and labor relations matter, which flows or flows out of, or will flow in future out of an employment relationship. So the issue before court relates to, the, to, the, to whether the nomination of the interested parties uh, to serve as CEC members of the second respondent was done within the law and therefore justly. The nominations of the interested parties is in, uh, in my view, a recruitment process, which is intended to create an employer employee relationship between the, employee, the interested parties and the second respondent. The recruitment process is a process of identifying, attracting, screening, shortlisting, interviewing, selecting, hiring, and onboarding employees. This process, in my view, is part and parcel of an HR function of an employee and which matter falls squarely within the jurisdiction of this court. So my determination is that this court has jurisdiction as an employment matter because this matter flows out of an employee-employee relationship already established or future to be established. Number two, let me go to local standard. The respondent also submitted that the petitioners here in lack local standard to bring this matter before this court. The petitioners here in describe themselves as law-abiding citizens public spiritual, spirited individuals, human rights defenders, looking into the future of, court of Kenya as a society which strictly follows the rule of law for the betterment of society. The second petitioner described himself in similar terms. In determining the issue of locus, I draw my strength from Article <coughs> sorry, Articles 22 and 258 of the Constitution, and uh, which I've cited and which indicates that anybody is free to bring a matter on their own behalf, on behalf of somebody else, where they think that um, the constitution has been contravened or is threatened, is, uh, its uh, life is being threatened. 
The petitioners here reside in Nakuru. They are Kenyan citizens who have approached this court claiming breach or threatened breach of the constitution. And this court cannot lock out the petitioners on issue of lockers as they have demonstrated their interest as Kenyans and are with, with a legitimate interest in the welfare of Nakuru County. And therefore, I return the, the submission that um, the verdict that the petitioners have lockers to bring this, uh, this um, petition before this court. Remedies. So the petition here is premised on a number of factors. The petitioners have, petitioners have averred that the selection process was done hurriedly without consideration of the varied nature of various ethnic groups of the second respondent. Indeed, the advertisements were done on 30th of August 2022. Uh, by 13th September 2022, the first respondent averred that they had received 478 applicants and, had been, and 10 had already been selected. The modalities of the selection process is not indicated. But the respondents and the interested parties submitted that this was based on merit and um, a member each selected from each sub-county of Nakuru. The petition has submitted that the selection process was, uh, the petition submitted that the selection process breached section 35 of the County Government Act, uh, which uh, I've cited and which says that uh, in, the, in, in the selection of the county executive committee members, due regard should be had to the diversity of the county, I've cited that section uh, at length. Indeed, the first respondent is mandated by law to consider to the extent possible the composition, that the composition reflects the community and cultural diversity of the county and also considers affirmative action as provided for in the constitution. The petitioners have lamented that the second respondent chose seven members from her own ethnic community and two from the Kalenjin community and one from the Luo community. The position has not been denied by the respondents. The petitioners have also submitted that the Nakuru County is populated by varied ethnic groups, which position the respondents have also not disputed. Indeed, Nakuru is a cosmopolitan county with a population of over 2,162,202. This is from the 2019 census. A population with various tribes being Kikuyu, Kalenjin, Kisi, Luo, Luya, Kamba, among others. As per the nomination as issued by the second respondent, only three ethnic tribes were considered, with the Kikuyu taking 70% of the slots. Uh, Kikuyu taking 70% of the slots. Article 10 of the Constitution of Kenya uh, states that uh, gives out. Um, the position on what to consider in leadership, in, in um, the, the way leadership should, the leadership should handle uh, matters of this nature. Indeed, the values above, these are the values, the, the values above bind all state organs, state officers, all persons when they apply to interpret this constitution. Article 73 of the constitution also provides the same, which I've also cited. 70, Article 75 also, I've also cited it, also is, uh, explains what should be done when a leader is handling matters of this nature. In all these provisions, the Constitution mandates all state officers to avoid any conduct that is not consistent with the Constitution. Article 232 of the Constitution, on the other hand, provides that the values and principles of public service, uh, provides for values and principles of public service which include um, transparency, provision, and provision of the, to the public of timely, accurate information. Under one above, there is indeed a need for fair competition, merit-based for appointment and promotions, and under H, representation of Kenya's diverse communities and affording equal opportunities to all. In the current petition, the respondents have averred that the selection process was above board. Whereas that may have been the position, there is no clear information provided on how this was done, there is no transparency in the selection process, and the outcome of the process shows skewed domination process leaning towards one ethnic group to the detriment of the others. The second respondent released a press conference on 13th October 2022. I've cited that press, press, press conference of what was indicated on that day. Indeed, the list was said to be one to be forwarded to the county assembly for vetting and approval. So the process of forwarding the said nominees had not been initiated when this petition was filed, and hence this court um, 
is not stopping the county assembly from proceeding because the process of submitting it to the county assembly had not been done. The respondent has submitted that the process for vetting has not been exhausted. Indeed, the process has not even begun because the petition was filed before the nomination list had been forwarded to the county assembly. Uh, this court is also, uh, is also aligned to the principle of separation of powers. It will not interfere with the mandate of the parliament or the assembly unless it is necessary. This is in tune with the law and in tune with case law cited. I cited Momo Matemo case, Okio Mtata and uh, Okoit and three others, versus the AG and three others. And having con uh, considered all the above, it is in my finding that indeed the process so far initiated for the appointment of CSCs of Nakuru County was skewed. It does not reflect the county diversity of the county. The same should not be allowed to proceed. In the circumstances, these are my, my um, orders. Number one, <coughs> the court issues an order of judicial review by Officer Shorari quashing the first respondent's press release or any document of the purported nomination, appointment of the interested parties, or any other person nominated without consideration of statutory and constitutional provisions as county executive committee members of Nakuru County government. Number two, an order of judicial review by way of my numbers compelling the respondents here to initiate a proper legal process of filling the county executive committee members of Nakuru County government positions as contemplated in the constitution, the county government act, and all enabling provisions of the law. Number three, an order of judicial review by way of prohibition, prohibiting the respondents and all persons from processing the nominations, appointment of the interested parties, or any other person nominated in contravention of statutory and constitutional excerpts as provided under the law. Number four, a declaration that the skewed nomination appointment as or appointment or action by the first respondent on or about 13th October or purported nomination appointed of the interested parties or any other person as county executive committee members of Nakuru County government without constitutional and statutory provision is contrary to the constitution. And number five, an order of judicial review by way of mandamas to the first respondent to perform her duties according to the law and the constitution and protect, defend this constitution as per the oath she took. And the, number, and the last one, declaration that the respondent's actions, omission, and uh, or commissions amount to discrimination contrary to Article 27 and 28 of the constitution. So in the, um, having given those orders, uh, in terms of uh, course, uh, I made an order that this petition is of public interest and therefore I'll direct that each party will bear its own cost. So that's the end of it.